and Dave, had she had a date, you could have lent him that powder blue number with the ruffles you wore so handsomely. <laughs> yeah, it's got back a little at, velvet on the collar, too, I, I think. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Alan, take a look at our Evergreen Parkway camera. That's I-70 right there, socked in with fog, uh, down to a quarter mile visibility in a lot of uh, locations out there going on uh, right now. Uh, meantime, as we look back at the city, here's our city park camera looking at downtown, and we are socked in with clouds. Visibility, visibility not quite as bad as it is in the uh, foothills, but that'll be going down as we get into the afternoon. Here it's 38 degrees uh, already uh, at the uh, city park location out there. 39 in Fort Collins, 37 in Boulder and 40 in Greeley right now. You can see the cool air has overtaken all of northeastern Colorado. In Arvada, Joe Branshaw coming in at 41 degrees now. Weather watcher Phil Curry in Franktown at 34. And he sent us a little message out here. He said, it's a dreary day out there. It promotes staying at home for sure. That it does, doesn't it? Uh, now, it kind of cool on the satellite here. You can pick out the, where the cold air is with these uh, clouds right over northeastern Colorado here, pushing back towards the front range. Now, at the same time, we're getting moisture shooting in from the southwest and kind of overrunning that and where the two meet right here in the front range. That's where the snow is starting to develop, especially up there in Larimer County and some of the mountains of Boulder County on the west side of that uh, area. Here's the guy that's bringing the moisture, a big low pressure trough. Now moving away from Las Vegas, moving towards the Four Corners area. And here's what will happen now through the afternoon. Moves into the Four Corners. We start to see a few showers and thunderstorms this afternoon over the eastern plains from Denver out all the way out into Nebraska. And then I think uh, later in the evening, Evening that'll mix with and change over to snow. Most of our snow will happen overnight into tomorrow morning and then start to move out. But here in northeastern Colorado, I think you guys are going to get a good blast of snow and wind as this thing comes through tomorrow morning, especially. And then it clears out. If you're in the mountains, you'll get some accumulating snow today and then over the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at light snow showers. Ahead of this windy down to the southeast, we have another red flag warning for high fire danger there till 7 o'clock tonight, up to 50 mile per hour winds expected. There. Here's the advisories now. Six to ten inches of snow in some of these northern mountains north of Estes Park, all the way down into the west side of Boulder County here. And then you get along the Palmer Divide and pushing up from Castle Rock out to Akron, Bray, and some of those areas, up to three to six inches of snow out there. And the wind will be howling in some of those areas as well. So here we go with our Denver forecast. High today about 42. Snow showers, uh, uh, rain showers, I should say, first, and then the snow developing around here. Maybe about one to three in town is what we're looking at by tomorrow morning. And then over the weekend, you can see we warm up into the 50s Saturday and Sunday. Another chance of rain coming in Monday with 58. But, uh, Alan, uh, to make you smile here, we got one day in the 60s there on that forecast on Tuesday at 65. All right, Dave, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Coming up, we have heard a lot about adults 